What's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you. It's an ML Sports Take brought to you by Camillus Golf Club and our good friends at the Syracuse Fitness Store. A uh, really tough one for St. Bonaventure, losing at Canisius uh, last night, uh, 84 to 80. This game went into overtime, and I'm going to kind of start there and then backtrack. I would have had a recap for you last night, but I didn't get home until almost midnight from uh, the Dome uh, covering the Syracuse Florida State game for ESPN and doing stats. But um, this was a situation here where I looked at it and I said, oh my goodness, once they went to overtime, I kind of felt like the Bonnies were really the inferior team. Um, you know, in this game late, there were so many different places where it seemed like the Bonnies were chasing on defense and could never get into any kind of a rhythm. And I don't know what the problem is under the Mark Schmidt tenure. I mean, it's, I know very rarely do you or me criticize him for pretty much anything. I mean, the guy saved the program. We're just lucky to have the, you know, basketball at this point, let alone all the freaking success that um, they've had with, with you know, all the tournament bursts and, uh, you know, all the players that he's found and um, the, the the runs that are unexpected in, in the great games. And I mean, none of that was expected back when the academic fraud, uh, you know, took place. He comes in, saves the program, and here we are. Um, having said that, if there was one thing, at least that I have to criticize is why can't Mark Schmidt teams guard the three-point shot? And I know that the immediate thing, texting with friends, looking at social media, the immediate thing with a lot of people was, oh, it's going to take us a while to gel. Folks, Canisius was picked 10th, or I think it was 10th, and last in the MAC. Well, last, I mean, I think there's 10 teams there, uh, but but last in the MAC. Like that, that you roll the ball out and Bonaventure at least has many advantages, um, you know, one being talent, right? Um, I did think in a positive, you know, if you're kind of trying to pull positives out of this, um, it does look like, you know, the Bonnies have got some guys to be able to come off the bench and some size to work with. Um, you know, Hill and Venning off the bench really seem to uh, be inside presence, uh, you know, the inside presence for St. Bonnie that they need to back up. Um, you know, Malouk, who, uh, you know, had a, a, a fairly strong game, I thought. Um, you know, and then you you have, obviously, we know Daryl Banks, the third, is terrific. Um, you know, Luke struggled a little bit last night um, in, in spots. He was able to, you know, get nine assists. He had six, uh, 13 points. But it was one of those things where um, the Bonnies, I thought it was just lost on the defensive end. I thought, especially at the end of regulation, they were just really charging and stretching and trying to figure out, um, you know, where people, you know, were spotting and three-pointers were wide open. And I got to tell you, I hate this game every single time it's played. I can't stand at Canisius. There's something about their style. There's something about that gym. There's something about turnovers. There's something about the Bonnies when they go into that place. And it doesn't matter what team it is, but I can't stand that, that basketball game. And um, I read an interesting tweet, actually, from... SBU unfurled uh, last night about how, you know, there's nothing in it for Bonnie to go there and play. Um, you know, if you're going to play Canisius, if you're going to play Niagara, don't go to their home gym, you know, make them play in Buffalo. And frankly, that also goes for the Riley Center, right? Like if they don't want to come down to the RC, then don't go to the RC. Let's play all the games in Buffalo. It's an, it's an almost more neutral site, uh, even though the, you know, Canisius is in the backyard, Niagara's more in the backyard. Uh, it's still a lot different than being right there on campus and having your own gym. So, um, you know, that's kind of where we land on it. Um, this was a tough game. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. Okay, so there's 11, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 11 teams in the MAC. They were picked, you know, to finish last, Canisius. So uh, just a really, really brutal game uh, for Bonaventure. Uh, the whole gelling thing, I, I get it. Uh, you know, I, I know that it's going to take them a, a while, but just losing at Canisius, man. I mean, these guys, they're always a thorn in our side and it's one of the teams you just don't want to lose to as a Bonna fan and uh th this this one's going to take a little while to get over um you know Bonnie shot you know six of 18 from three they were 45.3 percent from the field goal uh situation free throws could have been better I mean they went 16 to 23 there um you know I thought the rebounding you know was was fine they out rebounded them by seven um, you know, they did have the 12 turnovers. Canisius had nine. I mean, you, you look at some of those numbers, you're kind of going, well, geez, where, how, how did you lose the, the basketball game? Well, it was on defense. I mean, you know, Canisius made 11 three-pointers. They went 11 of 22. And uh, they made some, you know, shots in the end, uh, which then got them to overtime. And then, you know, in OT, like I said, it was just a complete whitewash there. Uh, the Bonnies did obviously make a ferocious comeback when it looked like they were pretty much dead, you know, down, what, seven, eight, nine points. And then... Uh, 
and then Canisius was able to uh, to close the deal. So let's see what the Bonnies have uh, in store here for us this week. Mike Lindsay with you here. It's an ML Sports Take. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's all brought to you by our good friends at Stanley Law Offices and Welch and Company Jewelers. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.